Quite nice, I haven't seen. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'll go upstairs. She does not understand what she nearly cost us. All right. And she needs to. There's no money in They'll ever speak to me again. Aye. They will. Come to bed, Jamie. I'm afraid we have a matter still to settle between us before we sleep tonight. What is it? If a man among us had put the rest in danger, as you did, he'd have likely had his ears cropped or been flogged. If not killed, outright. I... I didn't know. Well... I can you're not yet familiar with our ways. I have some excuse. Still, I did tell you to stay ahead. If you'd done so, none of this would have happened. Now the British will be looking high and low for us. As for Captain Randall... No. That's something else again. He'll be looking for you. Especially now that he knows you're here. Aye. He, um... It's personal for him. I am so sorry, Jamie. Ugh. If it were just me, you'd hurt, but I wouldn't say more about it. But you know, your actions put all the men in jeopardy. Right. Let's get home yet. You've done considerable damage disobeying my orders. And I'm going to punish you for it. What do you mean? Oh, you know fine well what I mean. Now, you're down by the bed and lift your shift, lass. Oh, do no such thing. Now, Claire. I have said I'm sorry, and I am. And I will never do such a thing again. That's just the point. You might. You come from a place where things are easier, I think. Where well, it's... It's, it's no a matter of life and death if you, you disobey orders or, or take matters into your own hands. But it's the hard truth in places and, and times like these that a, a light action can have very serious consequences. All right, you're right, of course. I will obey your orders, even if I don't agree with them. Good. Now then, get off the bed and we'll get this over with. I would follow your orders. There's a difference between understanding something in your mind and really knowing it deep down. I can tell you from my own experience that good hiding makes you understand things in a more serious light. But as I said, if it was just me you put in danger, but it wasn't. Such a thing as justice, Claire. You've done wrong to all the men. And you must suffer for it. I'm your husband. My duty to attend to it. I will not let you beat me. We won't. I don't you have much to say about it. The lad's getting on with it. Seems so. It is his duty. You're my wife. Like it or not. I'll scream. Well, likely it was not before. Ah! Certainly during. Ah! I expect I'll hear you in the next village. Ah! 